We're looking at Genesis 26, the account of Isaac and the wells. And we're going to look from verse 12 onwards. Isaac had settled in Gerar and he was prospering. It says, And Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. And the man became rich and gained more and more until he had become very wealthy. He had possessions of flocks and herds and many servants, so that the Philistines envied him. Now the Philistines had stopped and filled with earth all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham his father. And Abimelech said to Isaac, Go away from us, for you are much mightier than we. So Isaac departed from there and encamped in the valley of Gerar and settled there. And Isaac dug again the wells of water that had been dug in the days of Abraham his father, which the Philistines had stopped after the death of Abraham. And he gave them the names that his father had given them. But when Isaac's servants dug in the valley and found there a well of spring water, the herdsmen of Gerar quarrelled with Isaac's herdsmen, saying, The water is ours. So he called the name of the well Esek, because they contended with him. Then they dug another well, and they quarrelled over that also, so he called its name Sitna. And he moved from there and dug another well, and they did not quarrel over it. So he called its name Rehoboth, saying, For now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. So the wells that Isaac dug were called Esek, which means contention. And that is where the herdsmen of Gerar contended with him. The next one was Sitna which means enmity, and that is where they quarrelled with him also. The final well, where they do not quarrel with him, he calls Rehoboth, which means broad places or room. So let's look at the meaning of this. Isaac digs first the wells of his father Abraham. That is, he wants to renew the wells of the law and the prophets, which the Philistines had filled with earth. As it says in verse 15, the Philistines had stopped and filled with earth all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham his father. The Philistines filling the wells of the law and the prophets with earth is those who put an earthly or fleshly or carnal understanding on the scriptures and block their spiritual and mystical meaning. Isaac's servants digging new wells are Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, Paul, James, Jude and so on. The new wells of the New Testament full of living water. Contention springs up, Essek, among those with minds set on earthly things. They contradict the well of the gospel. They oppose the gospels which is where we have enmity or sitna. But then Isaac dug a third well called Broad Places or Rehoboth, for now he had been extended and his name increased all over the earth. The servants of Isaac, that is Christ, go out to the broad places of the earth, digging wells of living water and refreshing all those who received them. Christ opened up the old wells of the Old Testament, filled with earthly things by bad teachers. We are also wells which were blocked up by earthly things. So let us throw out the earth from us and purify us of carnal things and instead be receptacles of living water that we can give to others to share with and drink from. Christ the word removes the earth from each of us and opens up our fountain. 